Welcome to the Referrals Podcast, the show designed to help everyone from the solopreneur to the Fortune 500 company win the referral game. If you want to build a company with an army of ambassadors and raving fans who speak highly of you and refer you willingly, you are in the right place. And now, here is your host, Michael J. Mayer. Hey, everybody, this is Michael J. Mayer with another episode of The Weekly Wow. And I'm talking wow, like words of wisdom. Today, we are going to deliver the goods. And I have a question for all of you. What is the difference between lemonade and a milkshake? I'm just asking, do you know what the difference is between a lemonade and a milkshake? You're going to have to listen today to figure that out. We're going to talk about both of those in today's episode. And I will tell you that if you have not registered for Referral Mastery Summit, you are missing out. Go to referralmasterysummit.com, use the code WOW in lowercase, W-O-W in lowercase, and you will get $200 off the uh, advertised price of $497. So really, really good deal, $297, three days. Basically, it worked out three days at $99 a piece. Really, really good deal. And if you sign up today, you will actually not just get the summit, you will actually get the... 40 plus breakout session recordings. So you're only going to be able to watch 12 on the day of the event. So you're really going to want the other 28. Well, guess what? You're not going to have to worry about it. If you sign up today, you're going to get all of them. I mean, all of them. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's, a it's an amazing bargain and amazing, amazing deal. And it's going to be an amazing event. It's not just a summit. Uh, this is going to be a very, awesome online experience. We are going to give away TVs. We are going to give away Yeti coolers. We're going to, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, already eight sponsors who have lined up for this event and uh, more coming. So lots of really good stuff there. Check out referralmasterysummit.com and use the code WOW, lowercase W-O-W. And we are here today with a very special guest. She is a licensed real estate agent and listen to this. She is a cyber space officer in the United States Air Force Reserves, currently residing and working in Norfolk, Virginia. And she was trying to do the weekly wow on Wednesday of this week. And she had to try to do it from her phone in the parking lot during work hours as a break and it broke. It just did not work. And so we have brought her back by popular demand today. Let's welcome Miss Monique Harps to the Weekly Wow. Welcome. Hi. Well, wow. Well, thank you for being here today. <laughs> no problem. Thanks so for having I, me. I have to ask you, what does a cyberspace officer do? I know you could tell me and then you'd have to kill me, but what about the no, other? there's. I can give you a general idea yeah, because yeah. Um, people do it on the outside. So anything to do with protecting your network um, from the bad guys and then training people to take care of the network so that the bad guys can't get in, mm -hmm. network administration, changing passwords, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I, uh, I've changed passwords so much now that I don't know any of them. I don't know any of my passwords, right? I mean, at one time it was so easy because all of my accounts had the same password. Yeah. And then they force you to start changing passwords. And yep. it's like, oh my gosh. It, That's I, good cybersecurity. Yeah. Protect your money, protect your knowledge. I get it. I get it. So my password is one, two, three, four. Is that, is that a good password? That is a very bad password. How about 9999? Nine, 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 nine? Is that a good one? Also not recommended. So did you know that you actually cannot have those as your uh, codes for your credit cards? They won't even let you. Like the they're pens, you know? They're protecting the innocent from themselves. Yeah. Not that I wanted those <laughs> numbers, but they would have been a lot easier to remember. All right. Uh, so here's the thing, right? So you recently... Uh, we were talking on Wednesday about the most powerful marketing campaigns. And, and we were talking about, you know, one of the most powerful things that we can do is, is, you know, send handwritten notes or send things to 
our database instead of mm -hmm. just sending it out to everybody, uh, blasting the marketing out to strangers. Uh, you did something very unique with the people that you know, and the and and so what did you do? Tell us about the the lemonade uh, campaign. So what I did, I got an idea from an agent in Texas to send lemonade like during this time of COVID, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I was at a time where I was trying to focus on time blocking and reaching out to my sphere. And so I was like, that sounds easy enough. I came up with the message. Um, I said, thinking of you during these crazy times, hoping you're staying safe and happy or healthy. Um, life is giving us lemons, so let's make lemonade. Um, and then I put a package of like lemonade in it, just basic cards, white envelopes, but I did handwrite the addresses and the note. Mm. Um, and I sent out 166. Um, if I had an address, I mailed it. Mm -hmm. um, I figured everybody needs to be made to feel good during this time. Everybody needs to be thought of. And I didn't want to get an analysis paralysis. So yeah. I just executed the best and quickest way I knew how. Yeah. A couple things come to mind there. Do it now. And perfect is the enemy of done. It, it doesn't exactly. have to be perfect. Just let's get it out the door, you know? Yeah. And so uh, when did you send these out? Um, I sent them out in June, July. I think I started sending them out in like mid July, maybe. Okay. And uh, you sent out 166. You said you had 100, yes. 166 addresses. And um, so do you know how much that cost you to send? Was it the same as the stamp? It was 81 cents for the card, the lemonade, and the stamp. All together, so so less than a dollar. It was $158 total. Oh, wow. That includes the stamp and everything? That includes the stamp and everything. That's, okay. And all right. And so $158 campaign to touch 166 people with some some creativity and uh, what I, I mean that had to be like the message of the year is take the lemons and make lemonade what so what what uh what kind of responses did you get um i i got a lot of good responses i mean nobody was like take the lemonade back yeah. there was a weird one that's like they didn't send I don't it back understand. <laughs> no <Yeah. laughs> no um but i would say about 20 percent responded um either text email Facebook, or they called me, hmm. you know. Um, did you use a PS by any chance in that? I did, and okay. I used the basic PS, and it yeah. just said, let me know you got this, and yeah. gave my cell phone number. I love it. Because that extra creativity just hurts my brain. Yeah, yeah. No, you just did it. You executed on it. I love it. All right. And uh, so you got 30 to 35 responses, somewhere mm -hmm. in that range. And um, so any, any type of referrals or business or anything tracked to the campaign? Yes. So and first of all, it did put me back in front of some people who were interested in the past and maybe are farther along and ready to start thinking about doing something for 2021. Mm -hmm. um, but then also I ended up with five referrals that, will, that should happen in the next um, year and that's mm. five people that i need to refer to other states mm. and then two local deals one buy and one sale oh wow and three of them for, were from the same house oh wow three of them were from the same like the same household yes wow it's a two generation family mm -hmm. and um they're moving and the possibility that the son will buy his own house made it three, the sale and then two buys. Oh, wow. Very cool. So very cool. So no closings yet. I mean, this was just done, right? Yes. Or did you? Yeah. Cause I did it over. Like it was basically, I, I wrote as many as I could in an hour every day yeah. and then mailed them out each day. Yeah. Even and my mailman gave me a hard time. <laughs> How long did it take you? Um, probably about three weeks with some okay. off days. Okay. All right. And all right. And so these are just, they, they just now kind of started getting these over the last 30 days, probably. Yeah. Right? Now 30 mm -hmm. to 45 days. Okay. And um, how about the conversations that were started from the Facebook messages, the text messages, the calls or, or whatever it may be. 
Uh, what did you notice from that? Or did anybody complain about getting lemonade? Nobody complained. Okay. Everybody was like grateful to just receive something or that somebody thought about them. Uh, several people said that they got it on a day that like it wasn't good for them. So it brightened their spirits. Yeah. Um, and for me, it allowed me to connect to people that I hadn't had a conversation with in the first place, like yeah. in months or even a couple years. Yeah, I love it. And, and it does a lot of things just from the sense of giving, having them call. First of all, it's very, you know, there's passive and then there's assertive and then there's aggressive. And this is a, this is a, a passive way to kind of wake up your, your database. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's like really low rejection, like to the point yeah. of zero out of 166. Exactly. And, and even if they did reject it, it, maybe you didn't hear from them, right? So it's yeah. not a rejection in your face. So yeah. this is the this is for everybody, especially if you're maybe newer or you're you're kind of in you're kind of in rising star mode. This is a great campaign to be doing. It's lemonade. It's you know mention you know let's take lemons and make lemonade. And uh, maybe they made lemonade with it. Maybe they didn't. But it's the thought that counts right. and the PS that counts, and and it creates a lot of awareness around. Hey, I'm I'm in the business. Yeah. You know, which I'm guessing with you, there's probably people who know you as United States Air Force. And by the mm -hmm. way, thank you for your service. Thank you for your support. And also probably know you as a cyberspace officer. Mm -hmm. But some of these do not see you as a realtor. Exactly. So, so when you send the card and you're, you're having these conversations about real estate and helping them buy or sell real estate, what you're doing is, is you're showing the, that, you know, this is another way that you can help people, mm -hmm. right? That they may not have known about before. I'm, I'm guessing, I mean, like me, when I got into real estate, I was a math teacher and a professional softball player, which sounds awkward, but it was fun. <laughs> But, it, but it's like people saw me either as a, a math teacher, as a coach, because I coach three sports, or as this softball player. They didn't see me as a realtor. So I had to do things like this to reestablish in their brain that, hey, listen, uh, this is another way I can help you. I am a trusted source in the real estate world. And I'm telling you right now, people don't trust the real estate world. They really don't. And unfortunately today, they don't trust a lot of other parts of the world either, like media and TV and advertising. And it's sad, right? So people are looking for a trusted source. And, you know, Monique, you're infinitely trustable. You know, you're, you're trustworthy. And this is, this is another way to, to create that awareness that, hey, listen, there's somebody trustworthy in the business that you can count on, right? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that kind of, were, were a lot of people surprised you're, you're in the business? Did you catch um, anybody kind of go, oh, you know, I got your message, but I don't know what I'm calling about. No, nobody no. said that. Okay, nobody said good. that. Um, most people who actually called back know that I'm in real estate. Yeah. Um, and they have an awareness about it. And so something I didn't mention is when I said everybody, I mean everyone across the nation and mm. internationally that I know. So I want people to know, like, don't limit yourself to only your local people. Yeah. You know, yeah, use that. it. Totally. Be Go ahead, sir. Because of the Air Force, you know, in one year, by the end of this year, I would have only been in my market for three months. Mm. So I had to find ways to make money and generate yeah. business while being away and i've had my best year to date best year ever even though i haven't been home but for yeah. three months yeah all of all of, everybody that's watching this and listening to this all your limiting beliefs are being blown out of the water <laughs> uh by moni carps right now you know any any excuse you thought you had you you can't use it anymore because uh because she's doing it she's making it happen best year ever and uh, five of these are outgoing referrals. And that's the thing that I applaud you for seeing the opportunity. Sometimes people, you know, they'll say things like, well, you know, we might be looking in Denver and people are like, oh, okay. Well, it doesn't serve my purpose. It doesn't help me any, you know, but, and yet you're here, you're like, you know what? I can help you with that. I can move anyone anywhere. I can help anyone anywhere. 
how about if I get you a great agent in Denver, right? Yep, exactly. And you've been an animal. You've been an animal in the group, right? You've been really good at uh, outgoing referrals. And uh, the, I'm airing this in the Generosity Generation group. <laughs> we have been on fire with referrals. In fact, somebody has one that was just posted today. I'll have to check and see where that, it, it was a, It was like Aiken, South Carolina, okay. I think. So anyway, so Gen Gen Group, we are about referrals. And um, I know that Monique has referred uh, those five out to ambassadors in the generosity generation, which is cool. And are you, how are you going to follow up on that? That might be a really good, like, how are you going to remember? You know, you send it off. Sometimes those things happen. Sometimes they don't. How are you going to help make it happen? Oh, I, I follow up with those agents, um, just like you would follow up with your own client. Um, a lot of these people I know pretty well. So mm -hmm. I follow up with them directly because they're my friend or they're right. my family member. Um, but if I don't know them so well, I'll stay in contact with the agent um, and reach out and just keep a pulse on it. You know, so basically the agent goes on my list the same way a buyer or seller does for follow up. I love it. I love it. So you've got a follow-up plan for that and you're kicking some butt with it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And I'm trying to tune in. Here we go. All right. There you are. So I need to turn the volume down. I was trying to see what the questions were or the comments were. Oh, okay. So Cindy, Cindy Kyle's here and we got uh, Karen Nelson here. And Sherry Mayer said she loves me. No, that's not what she <laughs> said. She said she loves your idea. So, oh, thanks, um, and Shakima Chapman says, Monique is the queen of referrals. I love it. And <laughs> Karen Prickett Nelson is in and uh, she's talking about, we said something about her town. Tara Carter's in here. Hi, Tara. So put any questions that you have. Tiffany Smith, Smith welcome to the weekly while. Wow. Put any questions or comments that you have for me, Monique, in the comments area, and we'll make sure we get those questions answered. We just talked about her lemonade campaign, which is genius. She spent $158. She's probably going to make ten to 15000 when it's all said and done, maybe even more than that, which is a 100x return, which is pretty good. <laughs> I, I think a lot of people would take that. Yeah. Um, so let's shake it up here a little bit, right? All right? Let's let's touch on now. I know many of you are like, oh my God, I want to know about the more about the lemonade campaign. Well, guess what? You can by going to Referral Mastery Summit, which is coming up October 7th, 8th, and 9th. Monique is speaking and she will go into more depth on the lemonade campaign when we do. We will do a, a group uh, TED talk with two or three people, Monique and a couple others who will talk about their mailing campaign, which is, you know, this idea of just mailing out something that's going to create interest and create a call. So uh, you can learn more about it at Referral Mastery Summit. Go to referralmasterysummit.com, use the code WOW, and you get $200 off today and you get all the recordings as a bonus. Uh, Paul Dominich is in the house as well. Good timing. And what's interesting is Paul Dominich is one of our ambassadors as well. He has a partner on his team who is named Erica Turner, I believe. I, uh, let me make sure I've got, is that right? Is it Erica Turner? What's Erica's last name, Paul? And Erica, like she goes to an open house, she drinks a shake. And when she was making, drinking a shake, like she had like five people come to her open house, like just, just because she drank the milkshake. I don't know how it all worked out, but, but that led me to this, which is you have a campaign called Milk Shake It Up. Yep, so, it's called Let's Milk Shake It Up. Let's Milk Shake It Up. All right, mm -hmm. so I got to, I got to, right? I mean, it's like, first of all, I love it. Right? I love, <laughs> you know what I love about it is the energy that it evokes. You know yeah. what I mean? It's fun. Uh, and, and I hear, uh, what's that singer who sings Shake It Off, right? Taylor yeah, Swift, right? Taylor I kind of I I hear Shake It Off in the background, right? And it's like <laughs> milk, shake, let's milk, shake it up. So, <laughs> so let's milk, shake it up. What is that? So that is an event that I do. It's for my, it's my All Yap event. Okay. And I do it at a place called The Cookout, which is regionally like located. 
but they have over 40 milkshake flavors. Ooh. And it's kind of my answer to like a happy hour or a love you latte because I love ice cream. Mm -hmm. And um, so I do it, I did it for the second time this year. And I just use it to invite my people there. Um, I partner with a charity this year. It was the Autism Society and we collected uh, sensory items. So toys that cost less, you can buy them at the dollar store. Um, so they bring something small, they get a milkshake, we stay, we mingle, we do the door prizes. I have the sponsors like you talk. It was my event that I did after Event Mastery. Mm, which okay. Everybody should attend Event Mastery if they have the opportunity. Yeah. Um, it's you. well worth it. Um, and so from that, my first year, I got 15 um, like leads for buys yeah. and sells. Yeah. And I've closed like four of them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this past year, COVID kind of like changed the whole vibe and dynamic, but we still pulled it off. I had to pick an alternate location literally the last minute, oh, but I got four leads um, off of that. And then a few, uh, a handful of referrals for my partners, but they are also with me because they're all in the industry. Right. So what's the, what's the key components to the, to, to the milk shake it up, right? What, what, are, what are some things that if I wanted to do one, uh, I need to make sure I do these things? Um, invite, invite, invite. <laughs> yeah. I invited by email. I invited by text. Um, I did a video. I put people in a group on Facebook. Um, you just constantly invite. If I met you, I'd invite you. Yeah. So, um, and then make sure you're using a door prize and just keep it simple. You know, I'm not making the milkshake, so I'm not going home with any extra product. Mm -hmm. It's an extremely inexpensive event. My sponsor, How much did it cost? Yeah. Um, my sponsors each paid $43 a piece. <laughs> wow. And that covered and that, the whole event? That covered the whole event. And they sponsors? each bought a door prize three. So this is like a, another $150 or yeah. less item. Yep. Wow. And you've and gotten 15, 19 referrals from this one event. Total. 19 leads. 15 plus four, yeah. right? And you got four closings. Mm -hmm. What was the average sales price of the closings? Um, I would say probably about 250 yeah, so million dollars in closings, thirty thousand dollars from one hundred and fifty dollars was a two thousand percent return. So that's yeah. solid. Oh no, no, that's not a two thousand because because you didn't pay the one hundred and fifty dollars. Nope. So it's actually thirty thousand divided by zero, which is infinite. So it's your more than on, enough. Your return more than on enough. investment was infinite. infinite. It's more than enough. And I highly recommend it. And people could do anything, you know, you could, um, whether it's a happy hour or a love you latte, like yeah. you can just find something you love and then, you know, get people there. National pretzel day, go get pretzels, national hot dog day, you know, I'm and my sponsors, you. I, the way I approach them is like, will you contribute $1 per milkshake up to a hundred milkshakes? And then if I get too many RS, if I get a lot of RSVPs, no such thing as too many, I'll go back to them and be like, hey, it looks like we're approaching 100. Are you willing to go higher? Mm. And it keeps it reasonable and manageable and nobody feels taken advantage of. I love it. I love it. And uh, yeah, who doesn't like, I mean, 40 flavors of milkshake. You're, I mean, even the, the people who don't like flavors can get a vanilla milkshake, you know? Yeah. And Here's the thing, you can do this now, you know, in a stay at home, in a quarantine mm -hmm. environment, you, you could do this. It doesn't have to be the milkshake. You know, mm -hmm. it, it could very easily be Baskin Robbins. You know, yep. the Baskin Robbins are open. They're doing the, the social distancing thing and everything else. Mm -hmm. And you can, I mean, I have to tell you, this is actually advantageous because people have to wait longer. Well, <laughs> what are you doing? You're talking to the people who are waiting to get in to get the ice cream that you're buying for them. 
or you and your sponsors are buying for them. And so you actually get more time to have a conversation. You get more time to build that relationship. And, you know, people are in their little family pods, you know, not next to each other. You don't get the interconnectivity of a live event, but you still get a lot of those. I mean, people are craving this. People are looking for an excuse. Everybody should have, I love you latte or come down to Chick-fil-A and I'll buy your lunch or mm-hmm. Baskin Robbins or donut day. Um, I know or that even my yeah. food trucks or right? taco truck, Bring an right? ice cream truck, a taco yeah. truck. Some, yeah. that some places have coffee trucks. Yeah. And just, I love that. You could park it in your front yard if you really wanted to, but a park, a parking lot and just people can come and be as comfortable within the COVID restrictions as possible. That's right. They, they can put their own, their own restrictions in place and nobody mm-hmm. feels uncomfortable. And, you know, I, I think it is one of those where, um, you know, here's the thing is, is one of the first ones everybody should do is taco truck. The reason you want to do a taco truck is because if they don't like tacos, you don't want them in your database anyway. I mean, right? You know, so so it's like it's it's just uh, you know, uh, same thing with ice cream. Like if they don't like ice cream, it's just like, dude, you know, go lift some more weights. You know, you need to. You need to if anybody needs to have a ice cream cone, it's you, buddy. You you, you got a nine pack. You don't even have a six pack. You got a eight pack with an extra muscle in there. It's just like. Oh. Have it, have an ice cream cone, live a little bit. All right. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I mean, this is a fantastic return. I love how you tie it in the charity. Um, you know, the let, let's milk, shake it up. I love the, the, the title of it. It's kind of you and it's uniquely Monique, which you, you need to have something that's like Moniquely you, right? You need, <laughs> like instead of uniquely it's Monique, yeah. right? So this is definitely Monique in every way, right? Yeah. So I love it. And I, I don't want to get too far into it because I know that you're going to have the system for them and mm-hmm. the, whole, the whole thing for them at Referral Mastery Summit. And sure we really will. appreciate your, your sharing that with them at, at Referral Mastery Summit. No problem. It's my pleasure. So uh, let me ask this. So this is the weekly words of wisdom, the weekly mm-hmm. wow. So what words of wisdom do you have for people who are watching and listening right now uh, in the current environment and they, they need business. They want to get business. They want to be like you, you're having your best year ever. How, how do we have our best year ever? Like what, what are, what's your, what's your advice for them now? Um, I would say find things that they're comfortable doing with the COVID restrictions. If it's an event and then, create an event that's comfortable for them Mm -hmm. and then, and keep it simple. Don't go over the top. Don't, you know, you're not going to make the milkshakes. You're not going to brew the coffee, you know, just figure out how to do it and keep it simple. You're out there to collect, to give people an opportunity to have fun and be happy, but then also to collect information, right? Name, address, phone number, email, and just do your best in doing that. And don't worry about strangers. Focus on the people you do know, mm. including the people you kind of know. If mm. you have if you have any form of contact information, reach out. Yeah. You know, um, and the invitation is a perfect way which you teach all the time. Um, so if you're going to do an event, do that. If you're going to do a mailer, pick something simple. Do the lemonade. Feel free to like don't feel like you have to alter the idea Mm -hmm. to make it your own. Just steal it, steal the words. I've put it in the generosity generation on the post, exactly what I've written, like steal it. I don't care. Go make lots of money, please. (laughs) Yeah. We love it. Yeah. You don't have to do it and keep it simple. Yeah. I love that. And you know, you could even do it with like, you know, you, you did the little lemonade packets. People could Mm -hmm. do it with, uh, with the Kool-Aid Hawaiian yeah. punch, right? Where you can see, do you, do you feel you like, do, do you feel gum, like this? There you go. Skittles, gum, tea, um, what was, what was laffy t- tea, like tea bags. Like yeah. if you have something about like yep. sipping like tea and chilling, um, laffy taffy, you can play on the words now or later, now and mm. later, like under 13 ounces. Okay. And Oh, 
do not use squared cards because they're more expensive. Really? So you yeah. used, did you use like envelope size? Like regular? Yeah, just regular like size. Like, like card. Size. Yeah, there you go. Like just cards. regular cards. But for some reason, the post office doesn't process squared cards the same way and they charge 70 cents for those stamps. I love it. There's a scoop. Speaking of scoops, right? Karen Nelson said you could name it. I have the scoop. I love that. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Karen. So everybody who's watching or listening right now, what's your favorite kind of milkshake? If you were going to order a milkshake, what milkshake would you order? What, do you, what are you going to say? And we're almost done, by the way. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll go another five minutes here. But, you know, I, I love what you said. I mean, I, I kept, I, I have this one in my head. I got to get it out, which is the, the, it's the Kool-Aid Hawaiian punch. And it's just like, you know, was this year a punch in the gut? Well, make yeah. fruit punch, right? Something yeah. like that. Take the punch, yeah. take a punch. Right. Or you could punch 2020 in the throat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Spoken like a true military. Uh, I like it. <laughs> um, but no, it, 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 is, uh, it is one of those where you can use the word punch and, and definitely yeah. a lot. It, and there's still... a lot of like, oh, seeds. People send seeds in the spring. So yeah. a lot of random days to celebrate. Um, just Google the quotes like teacher notes is popular. Like because yeah. everyone gives teachers cheesy gifts. Yeah, I love it. So we've got a strawberry milkshake. Nice. Somebody's got to say chocolate milkshake, right? And uh, welcome, Pam Griffith, to the weekly wow. I appreciate you joining us. And Polly, what's your favorite ice cream, dude? You got to let us know. All right. Um, so it could fit in an envelope. It just needs to be kind of fun and cute, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, cheesy is okay. We we don't want to yeah. go too cheesy, but we want to well, go somewhat. It's all at right. some point. It's all cheesy, right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, um, but it's fun. It's what warms our hearts and gives us those like warm fuzzies we learned about in kindergarten. You know, makes us smile, yep. and that's the goal, right? Yep. My goal is to make you feel good. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and we're here to help. And, you know, in a time where it seems like people are cowering and they're really like taking care of them, their own, you know, they're kind mm -hmm. of cocooning away. Now is the time to reach out. You know, now right. is the time to reach out to your database. That's what I love about Josh Frazee and, and what we're hearing with what he, I mean, he's going off this year. He's, he's, he might triple his business and he was already right. 100, at 100 transactions. So it's hard to triple at 100 to go to 300. <laughs> but he's doing it all with, with calls that are reach out and just see if I can help. And he's yeah. made over a thousand of these calls and he's offered to go get um, groceries, go get milk, go get anything they need thousand calls, thousand offers, zero people have taken them up on the offer. Wow. Yet, he's gotten, he, he's averaging like a referral a day doing nice. these calls. So, I mean, I, I, I just love this. Hi, Kim Spencer and Sarah Chattel's in the house. Welcome, Sarah. So Sarah Chattel, what's your favorite milkshake? Kim Spencer, what's your favorite type of milkshake? If I were going to order a milkshake for you, or if Monique was going to order a milkshake for you, what would we need to have ready for you? Cherry's is strawberry. That's your favorite. Yeah. Max's is vanilla. He doesn't like chocolate. Sherry and Max <laughs> in my family don't like chocolate. That means more chocolate for you. It does, unfortunately. <laughs> but but it, it's just like, how many people in the world don't like chocolate? I have two of them in our family. It, it's crazy. It's, it's, uh, it is pretty good though. When, when the chocolate man comes to town. So, uh, that's good stuff. So, uh, did you, um, I, here's the other thing that I, th that I love that you said is that everybody you met, you invited them. Oh, did yeah. you have anybody that you met at a networking function or literally met the week before you didn't know them? at all but you met them the week before and you invited them and they showed up anybody like that um yeah i've had like random people even on facebook that show up like one guy showed up at another event and i was like he's like oh i know monique and i'm like i have no idea who he is <laughs> well you're famous right you're the one that takes lemons and makes lemonade you know i guess that's a very optimistic uh, viewpoint so yeah. and just so you know i have three more votes for strawberry 
Like, what is wrong with this world? Like, I mean, it's like you would have got off awful cheap that night, Monique. It would have been like four <laughs> strawberry shakes. So, Sarah Chattel, what's your favorite milkshake? You got to tell me, right? Well, Michael, it just means more for you. That's it. And there's 40 flavors. So for every strawberry shake, I get to order a chocolate shake. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> oh, that would be so bad. That would be so bad. And so good. And yeah. so bad. So uh, how are you going to follow up, right? So how do you follow up from the Let's Milk Shake It Up event? Like what's afterwards? What do you do afterwards? After the Let's Milk Shake It Up, I call everyone who attended, like the door prizes, um, who wanted to be connected to somebody else or whatnot. So I start with them. Mm -hmm. And then I follow up with the people who just signed up. And then I try to reach out to the people who said they were coming, but didn't, didn't come. Yeah. Um, just to be like, Hey, sorry, we missed you. Hope everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is just to be in front of people mm -hmm. um, when you're not asking for business. Yeah. And, and they remember you for that. So um, one thing I did, I, last year I did this, I didn't do it this year, but everybody had like the golden ticket you teach about mm -hmm. and it just said their name and their flavor. And that's what they turned into the cashier. Love it. So I took my photos cause I had a photographer as a sponsor and put it on the front of a send out card. And on the inside, I was like, blah, blah, blah. I hope you enjoyed your chocolate milkshake. So right. I had many people be like, how did you know what kind of milkshake Brilliant. I had? Love. And so that was one way that I followed up. So now they have the picture and it's a picture of them mm -hmm. from them at the event. So um, I sent those out uh, as a follow up. And then, of course, they get invited to the next event and they it. get lemonade in the mail. I love it. So uh, <clears throat> I have to tell you, I, I, isn't it fun to do stuff like this? Oh, it is. You know so what I mean? Much fun. So I mean, much fun. It, it. I I had uh, Inman just recently. Uh, they went out to like twenty five thousand agents, and they were like, "All right, what are the top ten books people need to read?" Think. I mean, Seven L was one of the top ten books. Th I mean, thank you for whoever whoever was interviewed for that, and you chose me. Thank <laughs> you for that. I appreciate that. Uh, and you didn't choose me. You chose my book. I get it. Uh, but it's one of those where, so I was in, I had a phone conversation with the gal who, who wrote the article and it's just like, she was just like, all I'm hearing is 7L, 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 the 7L system. It's like, this is the year of the 7L system. It's really working for people this year. It's really working for calls and, and this kind of this, that, and the other. And it's like, like, what is the 7L? And it's like, it's, it's, it's giving gifts, right? It's giving, it's giving that leads to receiving. And mm -hmm. then we just, are really good givers, we're generous givers, and we're really good receivers. You know, we're really w yeah. open to re reciprocation. When people reciprocate, we say, okay, instead of, you know, shutting it down. And um, I I'll tell you, I, I'm going to surprise a guy this next week who, you know, big sponsor at Referral Mastery Summit. He's going on vacation. He's going to go to a spa, and, and he doesn't know it. And I know he's not listening right now because he's traveling. But it's like, I, I'm going to get him a gift for when he's at the spa. And at first glance, I mean, I mean, I just, I, I think, you know, this is Monique's mindset. This is my mindset. This is Sarah Chattel's mindset. This is like so many people's mindset within the generosity generation is, is I'm going to get him a really cool, really personal, really customized gift that's not going to cost a lot, but I'm going to have it sent or it's going to be at the spa resort that he's staying at. And the thing is, is right now, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know what it is, but I have his executive assistant's information. So I'm going to, I'm going to get with her and I'm going to say, you know, what would be really cool? And I'm guessing she would know if she doesn't, she's going to know someone who does know. And uh, so he's going, I mean, he's doing this resort as just like, a chance for him and his wife to get off the grid and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm going to blast, it's going to be a bottle of wine or it's going to be like some, you know, the, how they have the trays of nuts and fruit mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. it, it, we're just going to make it really personalized and customized and, yeah. and uh, it's not going to cost that much. Yeah. But, There's but no better guy, gift than something you really like. Yeah. 
and it's fun. Like there's nothing, uh, there, that's the funnest thing I do in life is surprise people with really personal customized gifts that I know they're going to love, which is the total opposite of what marketing has been about forever, which is mass mailings or, or bulk everything or, or all of this stuff. And it's just like, it's, it's like, man, this is, this, I mean, you could have sent a postcard that said, hey, are you looking to buy or sell real estate? Yeah. You know, and they all would have been trashed. Every single one. People are like, no, they work. No, you're going to get one. No, you're going to get zero. The, 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 the number is zero. People are like, no, it's, it's one half of 1%. No, it's, it's zero compared to what you're spending. It's like your idea was brilliant, optimistic, got them to call and led to business at 166. You know, if you went with the same percentage, if you sent a thousand, you would have gotten a hundred phone calls. A hundred. Yeah. No, that's not true. I mean, I'm a math teacher. I should probably get the math right. You got 20% return. You would have got 200 phone calls. Yep. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's one of those where this is so fun. Isn't this fun? It is fun. And one, you talked about like loving on other people, but I think that 7L is a system that allows you to do the things that you're most comfortable with and you enjoy them. So it allows you to show up better for people, mm. you know, yeah. cause like imagine me, so I don't drink. So if I had a happy hour, mm -hmm. like, that's cool, I guess, but nah, it's not cool for me. It, it wouldn't it's not be consistent fun for me. or aligned, but, right? Right. But for Tommy, yeah. for Tommy, it's Ta perfect. Does Tommy drink? His networking happy hours. Does Tommy drink? I don't even know if Tommy drinks, but he has fun in his, his nacho average happy hours. Look at you. You already know the name. It's yeah. branded. It's so funny. That's what that's what's awesome about our network is <laughs> you're you're the milkshake it up girl. That's what's so funny. <laughs> Everybody, I mean, and Toral is the I love you latte, and yep. I, I, I get I get some of the credit on that because I I ran I love you lattes too, but but Toral's presented it to the group, and it's kind of like she's the I love you latte girl. And Don and, is the Saint Breakfast with Santa. That's right. So so it's and those are all very uniquely you uh, things. You know, you be you, and it you know it's create authentic transformation and launch your success today. So. Anyway, I, I love that. And uh, all right, let me make sure I got everybody's questions and answers. So a lot of people are saying, thank you, Monique. Oh, uh, you guys you are all welcome. Service. Go and, do something and then share it. I want to yeah. learn. Yeah, so uh, Monique is, is shouting out to all of you that when you do your unique event, what we call the signature event, when you do your signature event, let us know about it and share your ideas for making it a success. Deb Jolson, Welcome. Unfortunately, we're getting ready to say goodbye, but Deb Jolson is a big time morning ritual gal. Like, like way back when we talked about the miracle morning and, and, and the 30 mornings and Deb Jolson might've been in my first 30 mornings class. And then she went on to do like 3000 straight, maybe not 3000, I know <laughs> it was over 500 straight miracle morning days. So Deb, wow. welcome. And uh, so, Monique, I just want to say thank you so much for being our guest on the Weekly Wow today. Your words of wisdom are inspiring others. And uh, also, thank you so much for serving our country and uh, being in the Air Force and, and uh, you know what, doing what you do. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Everybody, I will be back on Wednesday, coming Wednesday for our weekly wow, weekly words of wisdom. The words of wisdom is typically a strategy or a tactic that will lead to referrals, or at the very least, it will lead to great customer service and a wow that will lead to referrals. And uh, we do it every week on Wednesdays at one o'clock right here in this group. Please invite others to join this group. We would love to have more great people. It is a private group. We do typically turn down two or three people a week uh, just because we don't know them or they're coming in for the wrong reasons. 
Um, but uh, we love to have great people come in and we love the growth of the generosity generation. And uh, we hope all of you can join us, not just for the weekly wow, but also for the referral mastery summit, which is coming up October 7th, 8th and 9th, which is WTF, which makes a lot of sense that 2020s uh, would be WTF 2020. Um, and uh, you can go to referralmasterysummit.com, use the code wow in lowercase and you can get $200 off right now. Plus you'll get all the recordings plus some other cool bonuses, including being entered to win TVs, Yeti coolers. It's going to be a party. So we'd love to have you all in uh, all there. Monique will be there. She's doing a session. She may be doing two sessions and uh, it's going to be fun. So ladies and gentlemen, we will see you on Wednesday on the weekly wow. And just know that I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Have a great weekend. See ya.